Let's do this. Explosive insight. Okay, it turned out that the Nurarihion had a diamond-shaped hole that went all the way through the statue from its stomach to its back. We also realized that the statue and its base were made of different materials. We haven't done anything with that piece yet. On the floor, we found a mark that looked like a stylized three-leafed wild ginger plant. The mark appeared to be a button, too. Oh, we haven't done anything like that, either. When we examined the doors along the walls of the room, it turned out that most of them were fake and just painted on. But not all of them. Some were real. Three, to be exact. So what are we missing? Okay, I want to investigate this button, but I also want to investigate these different materials. And... Diamond shape hole, we already did that. But I don't think there's anything that we can do with fake doors. Real three of them to be exact. Um... I'm gonna try the diamond shape hole just in case those other two didn't work. But come on, come on, come on. Excellent! The different materials. Forgot about how the statue and the base were made of different materials. So, couldn't there be something hidden there? Looked up to see six stunned faces staring at me. I am the master! My god, she's right! We'd completely forgotten about the damn statue. I saw it, I even mentioned it, and then... Nothing, because I am a dummy dumb dumb pants. In that case, perhaps we should consider that, uh, what that difference might mean. We huddled around the statue and began to study it with renewed interest. We did figure this out quickly. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see Midarashi still trying and failing to hide how much his wound hurt. I began to circle around the statue. Without really thinking, I reached out to touch it, only to have my arm suddenly grabbed and pulled away. Whoa! Hold up. What are you thinking? You're a woman! You shouldn't be touching that thing. Gah. I don't like his attitude. He grabbed me, and now I was getting yelled at? I mean, sure, I probably shouldn't have touched it without warning everyone, but what does being a woman have to do with that? Sure sounded sexist to me. Oh. What is he thinking? This probably isn't the time to start a fight, but he's being an idiot. Unleash hell. What's wrong with you? What? You got a problem, dude? We've got a problem now. Yeah, okay. Maybe I didn't really think too hard about whether or not I should touch that thing, but my being a woman doesn't have anything to do with it. What the heck were you thinking? You're absolutely right, I shouldn't have said that. Well, I did stick my hand out when I shouldn't have, and I apologize for that, but don't do that again, okay? Killed for less. Shouldn't have been more careful. But if I hadn't called out Shido on his malarkey, I wouldn't have I would have felt pretty steamed. Shido hung his head and rubbed a hand over his eyes. Look, I'm I'm really sorry, I'm a police officer, a detective. My job is to protect people, but I failed. I was angry with myself, and I pushed that onto you. I was wrong. It's okay, really. He bowed his head. You're too serious, bro. I can hardly I can barely even feel this. If I had a band-aid, I'd be fine. If we're being honest here, I don't really like you that much, but we're all still counting on you, alright? Back me up here. Yeah, you don't need to be so hard on yourself. Hmm. So, you all right now, de defective? <laughs> hey, good one. She don't purse his lips. It's detective, and you know it. Details, come on, man. Don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> it's, his, it's my job to sweat the small stuff. That's my whole job. Suppose you win this one. She just sighed, gave a small smile. Well, that's real sweet and all, but we're back where we started. We still haven't figured the statue out, and we're gonna die soon. We nodded and turned back to the puzzle. Hey, guys. You yeah, think maybe it turns? Pointed down where the statue met at the base. Like a big action figure. 
Stand back. I'll see if I can move it. Carefully, Shido stepped forward and white knighted the statue into place. When nothing happened, he slowly started to push, and it moved. It appeared that the katana could be used as a handle to rotate the statue. It's a light puzzle. It was a light puzzle the whole time. So now, we just need to know which direction to turn it in to get the light pointed in the right direction. Yes, as the warrior, I think you'll have two. There might be more tricks, so just go slow and be ready to get out of the way. Right. Move the statue slowly, bit by bit, and before long... <laughs> the head popped off! <laughs> we broke it! Oh, man. That really scared me. I thought my heart was going to stop. His eyes were so wide, I could see that the whites and his breathing was fast and shallow. The panel's green. So, uh, our warrior defeated the Nuri Rihon. <laughs> okay. So... Our steps were right, in a manner of speaking, we were just missing one bit. Shirabe groaned and shook his head. Classic light puzzles, should have known. That means that we just need to follow the light again, right? It's pointing to a door on the left, let me handle it this time. If all of these guys had been gamers, this would not have been a problem. They'd have been like, it's a light puzzle. Guys, no, it's, it's a light puzzle, this is the whole thing. Just turn the whole dang thing. He strode off toward the door, and once he'd made sure we were out of the way, pulled it open. Bingo! Thank goodness. Excellent. Alternatively, we could have just opened all the doors and saw what happened. Never thought I'd be happy to hear that voice, but for once I was. Look! You can see outside! Must be the exit began to cheer. At last, we'd finally finished the first day's game. Our faces were drawn and tired, but every one of them was split with a relieved grin. Stage one has been completed. You have obtained a reward. One of the floorboards in the passageway popped open. Inside was a treasure chest, like the one we found in the first room. We get more loot. And we deserve it. Holy crap. Let's see here. What the heck is this? It's just a piece of paper. He pulled it out and frowned at it. Sun. What the hell does Sun have to do with this? We can think about that after we've gotten you taken care of. How about you give me, give that to me for safekeeping? Since you're about an hour away from bleeding out. Right. Treatment. Let's let's go do that. We're running. It wasn't easy, but we did it. We beat Samurai Fantasy Seven. Yay. Oh, it's nighttime. Seven p.m. Totally dark. It took three hours for the last room. I felt a chill go up my spine if we'd taken just a little longer to finish. Oink, oink, oink! Congratulations on finishing today's game! I glared at the screen with the pig's ugly face on it. Really? You did an excellent job! You used your strengths to complete each challenge! I was quite moved! As if. I imagine you've got some idea what sort of fun you'll have to look forward to in the rest of our games now, hmm? And you also understand just how high the stakes are. Felt everyone tense. We knew exactly what he meant. We had a bunch of close calls already, and we've got six more days of this. A week of hell. Where are, like, where's the police? Or, you know, anyone else to intervene or get involved? My chest tightened. We could only go on so long. Sooner or later. We would slip up and someone would- I mean, we've already slipped up. Like, slipping has happened. Shido's voice broke the silence. I have a proposal. If we do manage to complete all seven days of your game, could you give us a reward? <laughs> a reward? Yeah, this is a game, right? What kind of game doesn't have some kind of loot or treasure when you beat it? Give us cash. Like... 500 grand. At least. They're right. It's not fair to have to go through all of this for nothing. As for my reward, I'm just hoping to save my uncle. <laughs> you might have a point. Okay. I will grant you whatever boon you request. Damn. Alright, pretty generous for Hog. Shido's face didn't even twitch. I don't know what you hope to accomplish with all this, but I know what my reward will be. The safe return of all the hostages. Wait, 
Shido, did you just set yourself up for like a white knight thing? This went like Dragon Ball Z and boring at the same time. It's like, you all get one wish. I wish to be a white knight forever. None of us had expected that, least of all Hogstein, who began to shake with rage. In a moment of weakness, I decide to be nice, and you just tear out this gentle maiden's heart. Gentle maiden. Yes, you cocky little monkey, and I've had enough of it of you too, you snot-nosed brat, and you meathead, and you, you swindler. C cocky monkey? Hey, what do you mean by snot-nosed? Who's the swindler? Talk to me, pal. I suppose the uh, swindler would be me. Oh! He's supposed to be like a con man. What? Does the truth hurt? Who do you think's been keeping you alive? That's not really truth. You're just kind of abstracting, like, generic things about their personality based on what they do for a job. And, like, who they are as people. You're just baselessly judging them. That's kind of our whole life, so... Whatever, haters. Stop that, you emo twerp. You too, you hairy old fart. Don't even get me started on this detective who spends hours on this, on his hair, even though he's going bald. Ouch! Ooh. This is how my hair looks. Your mother is hideously obese. You just... Alright. the heck is going on here? Where did these insults come from? I understood that he was angry, but I was. this was going too far. Oh, snap. You got us all shook up. This, this is not a place to get mad. Everyone else is already mad. We need to re restrain ourselves because this is not going to get us anywhere. We can't fight him right now. He's he's the man. He's the master. We will let it go. These are petty insults. Come on, this this is nothing. After a while, we just stopped listening, and eventually, Hog seemed to, seemed to tire himself out. Is he finally done? All right, fine. I'll return the hostages just like you asked. What a jerk. Uh, then why did you get so mad? Why are you so mad, bro? Oh, I just forgot that you'll all be dead before the week is over, so I can promise you whatever I want. He doesn't like losing. We just insinuated that he likes that he will lose, and he flipped out. He hates losing. Hmm. Ahem. Now then, I imagine all of you are very tired. Fear not, your hotel will arrive shortly. While you wait, you're free to do whatever you like. Explore the park, eat at a restaurant. This is an amusement park after all, amuse yourselves. Once you're all finished, please be sure to meet up at the far end of the adventure village. Oh right, I apologize, but none of the attractions will function. At all! Now I bid you all farewell! Oh, okay. Apparently the restaurants serve food though? Hotel will arrive? Not sure what that means. Eh, we're gonna find out soon anyway. Anyway, let's have some fun. Without waiting for a response, he took off toward one of the park directories. It would seem he really enjoys theme parks. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. That was probably why he knew so much about this one. I think he's still kind of trying to hide it. So maybe we ought to leave him alone. Mr. Sly Eyes Shirabi. If that was the case, though, he wasn't hiding it very well. Still, he's not a very subtle person, so... When we caught up to Midorashi, he seemed shocked when I reminded him that none of the attractions were working. Apparently he hadn't been listening to Hogstein that closely. Man, I never got to eat lunch. I'm starving. Can we look for a restaurant? <laughs> I, yeah, we're all starving. Wise choice. I've also grown somewhat peckish. Man can't fight on an empty stomach, you know, I think I'll join you. True, but I think I want to hit up the main office first. I'll catch up with you guys later, cool? <laughs> Was recently shot by a crossbow bolt, so... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she's like, there could be games here. I need to check. That's actually what I would do too. 
All right. To the office. He gotten hurt because of me. It felt wrong to just leave him. Uh, why? Didn't sound like he was very fond of the idea. Open wound. I will help you with open wound. This is not complicated. You want to help? Then leave me alone. I'm a lone wolf, man. <sighs> there. All right. You can follow through with these uh, romantic comedy tropes all day long, but you are dying. Like, if we do not treat this, you will die very quickly. <sighs> oh, this is an important choice. Well, I'm going to leave it at this very, very important choice. I think I'm going to go meet Rashi th to the office. I mean, seriously. Seriously. Okay. Yes, we will leave it this choice. Thank you, everyone, for watching this uh, series of episodes, and we will see you next time on Rainy Day Let's Play.